Every January, the London Boat Show takes place. Yes, the London Boat Show, which might sound a bit ironic given the weather conditions in the UK, but this city has a whole lot of money. And this is where multimillionaires and even some billionaires descend to check out the collection of super yachts on offer. 32,500 square meters of exhibition space with more than 400 exhibitors and super yachts in their multi-millions. If you're looking to splash your cash in London, you'd be pushed to make a much bigger wave than with one of these. Now in its 60th year, the show's managing director says it's known for big boats and big deals. Well, you have a lot of uh, boat names here and a lot of buyers, so you match them up. Tell me about the deals that you see signed each and every year. Well, with the range of boats that we've got here, you know, literally you could buy anything right up to £20 million plus. Now tell me about London. Why would you be and go to London for a boat show? Why not? Well, Fantastic capital city, just absolutely superb. There's a lot of wealth in London. And that prospect of seeing the latest and greatest attracts some big names from major celebrities and even royalty. But getting the biggest, newest, and best together in one place isn't without its challenges. You have to, I guess, craft this place, especially if you want to get in 100-foot yachts in here. Yeah, that's right. We had to make a few designs with the owners purely to get the size of boats in. So um, special boat doors, special access ramps. The biggest boat we've ever got in here is 100 ton. And that 100 ton super yacht is this, the Sunseeker 28, the largest boat at the show built by the world's largest super yacht builder. I'm so excited because this is the yacht. The yacht, uh, we refer to it as a 28 meter yacht. Uh, for those Americans that want to convert metrics, it's 90 feet. Wow, exactly. I love it, okay. Let's check it out. While the show and many of the boats are open to the public, the Sunseeker 28 is off limits, except for private buyers who can schedule a private tour. And the company will even tee up a Rolls Royce to bring those buyers to the show. Get on board and you're greeted by a dining table for eight, full galley kitchen, and of course, gold fittings throughout. Total costs between eight and 10 million US dollars. But this, of course, is just the base model. Tell me about this one. Yeah, well, this is, this is spectacular. This 28 meter has been uh, an excellent selling yacht for us. We've built over 30 since uh, we came out with the model. But uh, it's only 90 feet, so we go uh, much bigger than that. Yeah, and I've heard that outfitting your boat could be e equal to the price of the boat itself. Yeah, I mean, easily. Again, it depends on a person's taste, but it can be, um, they, they come in and they give us all kinds of times of outrageous things that they want to do. And we'll, we're either going to say yes or no, but most of the time we say yes. Yeah. Should we go check out the boudoir? Yeah. And when you're trying to ship a multi-million dollar super yacht, you better build to impress. Drop down up below one of the boat's two sun decks, and there's this. Oh, so this is the master bedroom. The master cabin, as mm. we like to call it. Yes, it's beautiful, isn't it? So tell me about the specs here. What's special about this? Well, what's special about this is everything, because the owners can customize this to their liking. What else is special about this, though, Susan, is the, the size of the space. It's, we call it full beam, so it goes from the outside to the other outside, and you've got these huge expansive windows to bring in all the natural light. And if the ocean view isn't quite enough to sell it for you, how about a full walk-in wardrobe, ensuite, big screen TV, and of course, the bed. Has anybody ever asked for a water bed? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure of water beds, <laughs> but you're on the ocean. Yeah, and what size bed do they usually ask for? The, the biggest. The, this is a queen, but you can go bigger if you like. Right. The sky's the limit, right? Right. Of course, the ostentatiousness isn't just limited to what happens under the covers. Sunseeker is as much about the brand as it is about the boat. The company's yachts have featured in the last four James Bond movies, and with some 4,000 horsepower in the engine room, that tends to attract some pretty high-profile clientele. Now, you've told me that a lot of F1 drivers have bought Sunseekers, mm -hmm. and there's a correlation because it's about performance, right? Performance Correct. of car, performance of boat. Correct, and our most uh, famous one is uh, Eddie Jordan, who owns the 155-foot, 155 155-foot uh, 155 Sunseeker called Blush. Right. 
and uh, Lewis uh, Hamilton is a big advocate and supporter of Sunseeker products. But if you're prepared to drop a super cool eight plus million on your own Sunseeker super yacht, you might need to shore up your bank account. The company says the boats can cost about 10% of the initial outlay just to keep them in the water. Add to that a crew of anywhere from two to 12. Oh, and before you actually leave the dock, there's a small price of fuel, which can top as much as $300,000 a year. Buying a boat isn't about making money on an investment. It's kind of a sunk cost, right? No, it is. It's about spending Enjoyment. your Enjoyment. Yes, it's about spending your hard-earned discretionary dollars to go out and enjoy time with your family and friends on the water and to forget about life back home. It's really, that's what it's all about. So if you fancy your high tea on the high seas, it's probably going to cost you.